every single one of you most surely I want to give God all the glory all the honor all the durations that no one is actually sick no one is in hospital right now I appreciate you Lord for this very hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah it is well with you in the name of Jesus everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice right now it is well with you in the name of the lord jesus christ your ear will not go there from the name of jesus everyone that is looking seeing me this very hour i decree it is well in the name of the lord jesus christ you will not go blind in the name of the lord jesus christ the bible says say to the righteous it shall be well i decree and i declare concerning every soul this hour it is well with you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah welcome to another wonderful day hallelujah it is well i'm bringing you the good things of the lord the word of the lord directly into your home right now hallelujah and i know it is well within the name of the lord jesus christ god bless you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah today as we have been doing uh the prayer the prayer hour is a prayer hour but i would love to share the word of god with you uh, for probably about 10 minutes to be precise then the other 30 minutes will be for a very intensive prayer uh, and i know the jehovah is going to honor every single one of us and, and 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 answer our prayers in the name of the lord jesus christ god bless you and to a brother that is sick this very hour i welcome the balm of gilead upon your life this very hour in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and i declare by his stripes you are healed in the name of the lord jesus christ uh patient adams god bless you evangelist Ojele, god bless you nathaniel bright god bless you 
joy no be god bless you mr gladys god bless you brother charles it is well within the name of the lord jesus christ our uh, patient adams god bless you zizi god bless you uh brother kelly she thomas god bless you in the name of jesus even my daughter right now god bless her right in the name of the lord jesus christ or mose yoba god bless you evangelize god bless you uh brother said it is well within the name of jesus adi bowali god bless you pretty white it is well with you in the name of jesus uh uh, yeah, damn it is well with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I think our oh, God bless you, Andre. It is well. Uluani Femi, Uluani Femi, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Favor blessing is well. Oh, sorry, it is well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you do salute, it is well as well within the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I want to quickly talk on a very topic that says your testimony time. Hallelujah. And we're going to use this very little time for about five, seven minutes to talk about the word of God. And later on, we go into a very intensive prayer in the name of Jesus. Uh, Don, if it is well, divine grace is well within the name of Jesus. If I blessing is well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 One thing i know for today and i know for sure is that the testimony of your life is surely coming to pass in the name of the lord jesus christ one thing i want to test, tell you about about the power of the wicked one concerning testimony there are testimony devourers hallelujah but from this very hour as i speak god is going to release the testimony that supersedes all other testimony upon your life in the mighty name of jesus evangelist becky god bless the joy god bless in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah you know one thing about 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 testimony testimony takes away the garment of reproach today by the reason of the anointing the testimony that is coming upon your life is going to destroy every garment of reproach placed upon your person in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ one thing i know about testimony testimony brings bitter to it makes bitter to uh, to become better hallelujah every bitterness in your life testimony of god is coming upon it i will turn it to better in the name of the lord jesus christ in every situation in life you will testify in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ go and mark it down you will testify in the name of the lord jesus christ i really want to share with you in the next five minutes before we go into very intensive prayer hallelujah if you have a friends that, that has not joined yet just let them know right now because i know for today that god is going to set every single one of us free in the name of the lord jesus christ and we all testify in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ. hallelujah testimony devourer Number one, every every testimony devourer can prolong one's journey in life. Today, by the reason of the anointing, you are set free and you are loose from that this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every testimony devourer can cause your prayer life to die a premature death. Hallelujah. Today, by the reason of the anointing, I strengthen your prayer life by the awesome blood of the Lord Jesus Christ this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to thank God for David. David could have actually died a premature death. Hallelujah. In First Samuel chapter thirty, in verse six, the Bible says, "And now David was greatly depressed. He was depressed. Hallelujah! For the people sp spoke of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved. Hallelujah! Even men and a son and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the law. Don't let don't let testimony devour. Don't let them kill your prayer life. Today, I want to tell you, every prayer life that is dead is our. I welcome the grace of the Lord upon you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every testimony devourer they make people to be invincible to their helper today by the reason of the anointing you will be visible to your helper in the name of the lord jesus christ every testimony devourer they are spiritual host of wickedness in heavenly places if you have been affected or afflicted by the reason of the anointing i decree the blood of jesus upon your person right now in the name of the lord jesus christ do you know that even testimony devourer amongst friends hallelujah they can also report you to powers that are very powerful if they, they are seeing something great in your life let me tell you something by the reason of the Bible says do not rejoice over me when, when I sit in darkness I shall the Lord will be a light for me today I want to decree as a sound of the living God if your friends are amongst your testimony devourer today Jehovah will arrest them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I want to sincerely tell you you will testify in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today is your time in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ do you know that even testimony devourer they can stand as a they can resist prayer of, of the righteous testimony 
only devourer can resist the prayer of the righteous. Check the life of Daniel. Hallelujah. Daniel actually prayed powerfully. But in, in, in the book of Daniel, Daniel, the Bible says, the Bible, Daniel chapter 10 in verses 12 uh, to 13, the Bible says, then he said to me, do not fear. The angel of the Lord said to Daniel, do not fear. For the first, for the very first day you have set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before God, your words are were had. And I have come because of this word. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia will still be 21 days and behold Michael, one of the chief uh, priests, came to help me. For I had been left alone there with uh, the king of Persia. You see, at times in life, all this testimony devourer, they can actually afflict pain upon our prayer. They can resist our prayer today by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every power that is resisting your prayer today that, that, that is saying you will never testify. Today I render that power useless this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even the book of Ephesians also said it. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Today by the reason of the anointing, whatsoever is attacking your testimony today will let you go in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even testimony devourer. They can make your prayer life and an effort to look in, in ineffective. Hallelujah. Today by the reason of the anointing, your prayer life will be effective. Thanks for the life of Saul and Paul and Silas. Their prayer life was so effective. The Bible says suddenly at midnight there was a great earthquake today by the reason of the anointing a great earthquake is coming upon your life the power of suddenly is coming upon your life you will testify in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ even if testimony devourer can bring doubt concerning any prayer hallelujah i want to thank god for the life of esther esther said it in esther chapter 4 in verse 16 he said go and gather all the jews that were who are present in shoshan and fast for me neither eat nor drink for three days night or day my maids and i will fast likewise esther now said for so I will go to the king, which is against the law. If I perish, I perish. Today, by the reason of the anointing, whatsoever is creating doubt in your life, that your prayer will not go, that you will, you never you never testify while others are testifying, I destroy that in this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I want to tell you as a servant of the living God, it is your time today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you sow in your promised land, listen to me, if you don't sow, rather, if you don't sow in your promised land, you will only be hearing the people's testimony but you will never come you will never hear your own testimony today by the reason of the anointing you will begin to understand the word of the lord and the power of the lord is coming upon your life in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ that is why the bible says something here he said in ecclesiastes chapter 5 in verse 9 the bible says moreover the profit of the land is for all even the kings eat out of it today by the reason of the anointing the profit of this very world is for all today by the reason of the anointing i decree and i declare you will testify hold on unto the faithfulness of the Lord concerning his promise concerning your life. I know every promise of God concerning our life, God is faithful to do. God is faithful to honor. God is faithful to actually exhibit. Today by the reason of the anointing, God will show you great and mighty things in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And before we actually engage into prayer right now, I have only just one minute before we go into a very intensive prayer of which I know that prayer is going to set every single of us free in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I was actually going through a scripture here. And actually, he actually shocked me. Hallelujah. And, and honestly, I want to thank the Lord for God actually giving me the understanding concerning this very scripture. Uh, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 in verse 7, he said, I have seen servants on horses. Why princes walk on ground like servants? Hallelujah. The one thing I want to understand when I was studying, I was actually repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating, but the Holy Spirit ministered something to my heart. Servants are doing and they are seeing the right thing. The things that the prince are ignorant seeing. Today, by the reason of the anointing, servants are seeing and they are, and they are doing and seeing the things that the princes they are ignorant of sin today i want to tell you by the reason of the anointing i decree the power of the lord to open your eye right now your divine your spiritual eye right now to see the plan god has for you this hour in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ every plan of god concerning your life shall surely come to pass in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ that is why we want to put god into remembrance the bible said in the book of isaiah chapter 43 isaiah chapter 43 in verse 26 god said put me in remembrance we want to good put God in remembrance concerning his word today. God said, put me in remembrance. Let us contend together. Let us reason together. God said, state your case and you shall be acquitted. Today, by the reason of the anointing, because you want to state your case before the Lord in prayer today, you will be acquitted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will bless you and God will honor you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me very well from this very hour. I want to decree into your life. Testimony will locate you. Testimony will spot you. It doesn't matter where you are 
are seated, testimony will locate you this very hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree upon your life. I am decreeing from this very hour. Yesterday, I said from today. This very hour today, I want to repeat from this very hour. From today, I decree every chapter or every chapter that is closed in your life that will bring us shine testimony. I ask Jehovah right now to reopen it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every chapter closed by men in your words concerning your testimony. I decree and I declare the power of the Lord to reopen it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatsoever chapter is closed by men that will never allow you to reopen again. Men will not allow you to reopen that chapter again. Today I decree I stand upon the authority of the living God. I usher in that chapter to be open right now. I address that chapter to be open right now. I, I address the favor of the Lord to come upon your life this hour in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me very well. The power of God that says suddenly when Paul and Silas were praying, the power that came upon them, the power of suddenly. Suddenly there was an earthquake. I decree and I declare concerning your life this hour. Let there be breakthrough in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let there be testimony in your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the power of, of suddenly upon your life. The power that breaks every you. The power that breaks every doors of testimony right now. Let the power go forth right now and break every doors of your testimony right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Begin to receive your testimony in the name of God the Father. Begin to receive your testimony in the name of God the Son. Begin to receive your testimony in the name of God the Holy Spirit. I said to my wife this morning when I was studying, I said, do you know something? Even in chaos, people can still testify. Hear me well. I want to repeat again. Even in situation whereby it's beyond human, human understanding, people can still testify. Go back to the Bible and check all testimony even when they were in chaos. Imagine the time the children of Israel, when God told them, stay, stay in a house and let the blood of Jesus be put, the blood of the Lamb be put upon the land of your doorstep. Even, even when, when, when plagues were actually destroying others, these people were indoor and they were testifying because they, 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 they stayed alive. Today, by the reason of the anointing, it doesn't matter what is going on in the world. The power of suddenly is coming upon your life. The power of suddenly is coming upon your life to give you a protection from the Lord and to make you testify in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will testify. I decree and I declare from today, receive the grace to enjoy the riches that we endure throughout your life. The riches that you will endure throughout your life. Begin to receive that grace right now. The grace of God to the grace of God upon the to, for you to enjoy the riches that we endure with you to the end of your life. The riches that will stay with you to the end of your life. Begin to receive the testimony right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The riches that will, that will stay with you to the end of your life. Receive it right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare concerning your life this hour. Receive, receive. I today from this very hour from today receive the total liberty from embarrassing yoke of debt in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every embarrassing yoke of death, debt of BC, of debt, I command this hour. Receive liberty right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every embarrassing yoke of debt of BC that you have been borrowing you cannot see to heed. Today I decree and I declare. Receive a total liberty right now. Let testimony come upon you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every embarrassing yoke of debt in your life. I decree restoration right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell you not tomorrow but from this very hour. From today, God will settle every hidden problem that is that is not visible to men, that is eating your peace. Today, right now, I decree and I declare every invisible problem that is not that is eating to men, that is disturbing your peace right now. Jehovah will settle it. God will settle it. God will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, whatsoever is an hidden problem in your life, that men that is not visible to men to see, Jehovah will settle it right now. God will heal you. God will honor you. You will testify. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will testify in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me well. I stand upon the authority of the living God as the Lord lives. Testimony will not cease in your things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as the Lord liveth, testimony will not cease in your things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from today I decree and I declare you will begin to enjoy the surplus of heaven to, to achieve all of your purpose. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will begin to receive the surplus of heaven so that every of your purpose will be achieved. In the mighty in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and there shall be leftover. Hear me well in your life. There shall be leftover. Surplus of heaven is coming upon your life. You will eat in abundance, and there shall be leftover because the testimony of such a thing is coming upon your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from today, hear me well. Money will not take the place of money in your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, hear me well. I want to repeat again from this very hour. Morning, when I'm talking about money, M O U R I N G, when someone is morning, when someone is weeping, it will not take the place of 
money in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Weeping and sorrow will not take the place of money in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell you the prayer again. Power of money will not take the place of money in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me well as a sound of the living God. I want to speak testimonies into your life as the Lord liveth. Everything, everything that life has denied you is granted unto you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As the Lord liveth, everything that you have been denied is granted back unto you right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what you are denied of. Today I speak testimony into your life. Such a thing are granted unto you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything that life has denied you of is granted unto you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As the Lord liveth, your tears of pain is turned to tears of joy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every tears of pain as the Lord liveth, Mahataya Neribulia is turned to tears of joy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Dorbert, it is well with you from Atlanta. It is well, God bless you. I decree and I declare as the servant of the living God, every tears of pain is turned to tears of joy in your life this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From today, I decree upon your life, we are ever the needs. You hear me well? We are ever, we are ever the need is need. Whatever the need is need in their life, you will begin to give them and you have supplicity in the name of God. Those who are begging, whatever they need in their life, I command the grace of an unmerited favor upon your life. You will have more than enough to give out from this very hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let there be more than enough in your life to give out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every needy that comes to meet you, you will have more than enough to give in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and there shall be supplicity in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From today, not to Tomorrow, from this very hour, God will not only give you, we will not only be grant you wealth, but will also give you a great name in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. After all, God, God actually granted granted Solomon wealth, and God gave him a great name. Today, I decree and I declare, God will not, not only grant you wealth, but God will give you a great name. A great name is testimony. I decree and I declare, testimony will locate you wherever you are seated right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. From this very hour, I decree and I declare from today. Day, receive the required courage to step into your greatness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The greatness ordained by God. I command right now. Receive the courage to step into that greatness right now in the name of the Lord. No one can take your place. So I decree and I declare the courage to step into your greatness. The one God has actually ordained for you. Receive that grace right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive that grace from today. Your story will be the key that will unlock other people's prison. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, go and mark it out. Your testimony will be the key that will unlock other people's prison. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be a shining example in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your situation and your testimony will be the key that will unlock other people's testimony. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it will unlock their prison. It will unlock their prison. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from today, God will turn your mess to message. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your test to testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your trials to triumph. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your victim to victor, uh, to victory. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from this very hour, not tomorrow, I am decreeing upon your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, like I said earlier on, it doesn't matter what is going on in the world, you will still testify. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your testimony will come meet you in the house. In the mighty name of the Lord, because God knows your area, God knows your address, so your testimony will locate you. In the mighty name, yes, nobody can take your place. It is impossible. In in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I said to you and I will decree from today, your story, your story will be the key that will unlock other people's prison. In the mighty name, when they hear of your testimony, they will feel joy. They will be joyful and they also will testify. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, when they see you radiating the beauty of the law, they will be happy in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from today, I decree and I declare as a servant of the living God, your mess will turn into message. In the name of the, it doesn't matter the mess that you are in right now. I command, let inside that mess, let there be a message. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your test will become to testimony. It doesn't matter right now. I want to tell you, you will testify. In, all, in any situation that you are in right now, I command testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your trial will come to, try, to, to, uh, to triumph. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it shall be well with you all the days of your life. I decree and I declare, as a servant of the living God, from today, those that believe in you, hear me well, those who believe in you and have invested in your dream. Yeah, they have encouraged you and they have supported you and they are still supporting you. They will not be disappointed in you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, those who believe in you, those who have invested in your dream, 
those who are encouraging you, those who are supporting you, they will not be disappointed in you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare every promise and promise of God concerning your life shall surely come to pass. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from today, the Lord will allow something better to come out of every bad situation in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, today, the Lord will allow something better to come out from that bad situation that you are going through. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter the bad situation that you are going through. Something better is coming out of it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, something better is coming out of it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, something better is coming out of it. Look at the life of Abraham and Sarah. Something better came out of it. God gave them Isaac. The mean of Isaac is laughter. Today I decree and I declare something better from that very situation that you are in right now. Something better is coming out of it that will make you smile, that will make you laugh. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hear me well. In the book of Matthew chapter 5, in verse 16, let your light shine. Hallelujah before me. I command this hour, your light will shine before me. And he said that they may see the good works of the Lord in your life so that they will glorify God. Concerning your life today, your life will shine. shine. People will see the good work of the Lord in your life and they will glorify God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That's why the word of God tells us in Isaiah 60 that we all know. He said, Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon all. Today by the reason of the Lord, even the same Isaiah says, the sun shall not be your light by day, nor the moon by night, but the Lord will be your everlasting light. I command this hour, the power of the Lord, the everlasting light of God, let it come upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let it usher testimony upon your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and it shall be well with you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare from today those who gather to frustrate your vision they will beg you when you are celebrating in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ go and mark it down those who have that must gather to frustrate your testimony right now they will come to beg you when you are celebrating in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ yes you will shine before men in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ those those who gather to frustrate your testimony go and mark it down will beg to come and celebrate with you they will beg to come and be happy with you in the mighty in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, go and mark it out. Thus fear the Lord. Thus fear the Lord. Whoever wants to frustrate your testimony, ah, they are coming forth to beg you when you are shining. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare as a servant of the living God, in the life of Saratim, in the life of Bridget Asibime, in love of Omos Zeyobo, in love of Andre Nico, in love of Mr. Stanley, I decree and I declare, a source I decree, Joy Santos I decree, in your life right now, those who gather to frustrate your vision, those who gather to frustrate your testimony, they will beg to be a part of your celebration. In the mighty name of the Lord, before they come in, they will beg to enter that door. They will beg to be a part of your celebration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Evangelist Yinka, the same thing happens to you. Kingsley, I decree. Kate, I decree. Uh, uh, um, I decree. Sonia, I decree. Evangelist Agawa, I decree. Evangelist uh, Blessing, I decree. Divine Grace, I decree. Concerning your life, those who wanted, who desire to frustrate your joy, those who desire to frustrate your vision, those who desire to frustrate to frustrate your testimony, they were coming to beg you. Hallelujah! They will beg to be a part of your celebration. Go and mark it down huh? in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree upon the love of the Inca in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is well we do have uh, uh, blessing. I decree upon your life, heaven is Kingsley. It is well in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Christ. Go and mark it down huh? from today. I decree and I declare the Lord will release a measure of prosperity into your life that will swallow all history of poverty. Every history of poverty shall be swallowed by the power of testimony in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, go and mark it out. I am not saying tomorrow, I am saying now. From today, the Lord will release a measure of prosperity on, into your life that will swallow all history of frustration, all history of poverty, all history of lack in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, so shall it be. Over the love of Sosa, so shall it be. Over the love of Bidu Salu, so shall it be. Over the love of Mr. Stanley, so shall it be. Over the love of Aunt Pretty, so shall it be. Over the love of Lara Lakomi, I decree and I declare upon the love of Kate right now. From this very hour, maybe you don't hear me. I want to repeat again. From today, from now, from now, from now, the Lord will release a measure of prosperity into your life that will swallow all history of poverty in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Nathaniel Bai, receive it in Jesus' name. Saint Akim may receive it in the name of Joe. Say, oh, Bright Canada, receive it in the name of Joe. Or Samuel Bound, receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus, and so shall it be in your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, mercy will begin to locate 
you all the days of your life. In the mighty name of you. From today, hear me well. I am not saying tomorrow. I am saying right now. In love, Gladys. I am saying right now. In love, a queen. I am saying right now. The Lord will release the measure of prosperity into your life that will swallow all history of poverty in your life. In the love of Jude. In love of Juliet. Etu, it is well with you. In the name of the Lord, hear me well. From today, the Lord will give you a new name. A new identity that will bury all the ugly stories associated with your background. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God will give you a new name, a new identity, a new body that will bury every power of ugly stories associated with your life. In the name of the Lord, or with your background, or with your family background, the Lord Almighty will give you a new name. I command a new name to come upon your life right now. Mr. Stanley, I command a new name to come upon your life right now. Or Sam Boha, I command a new name to come upon your life. Juliet Petru, I command a new name to come upon your life. Oh, Junior Stella Ido, oh, Doru, I command a new name to come right now. Cynthia Kimumi, don't if a new name, Kate Agawa, a new name in the name of Jesus, or Sad or Sayori, a new name in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will give you a new name. A new name, a new identity that will bury every ugly stories associated with your background. A new name comes upon your life. When a new name came into the life of blind Bartimius, they ignored blind. They started calling me Mr. Bartimius. Today, a new name is coming upon your life. When a new name came upon the woman with an issue of, of law, they started calling her by, by her name because a new name came upon her. So I want to tell you today, I want to decree upon your life. The Lord will give you a new name. A new identity that will bury all the ugly stories associated, associated with your background in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not tomorrow, from today, Jude, in your life, it is settled in the mighty name of the Lord. From today, a similar grace that made Jabez from, from, to, um, for more, for, for, to be honorable to, among his brethren. That similar thing is coming upon your life. That same power is coming upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The grace that made Jabez to be honorable than his brethren. Oh, today, that same thing will, do, will make you to be distinguished among your brethren. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be separated among your brethren. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus from today, your life and your journey will begin to usher in testimony. Wherever you go, your life and your journey will usher testimony. I am not just saying it, I am declaring as sound of the living God. Your life and your life and your journey we usher in testimony. Look at the life of David. His life and the journey ushered in testimony. David was never, 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 never he was not an army. David was never, never, never. He was just a shepherd. He was not an army. And he confronted Goliath. Today, by the reason of the anointing, every Goliath that is in your life, that is standing this very hour, I stand upon the authority of the living God. That is saying you will never testify. That is saying the door of testimony is shut. Except the blood of Jesus is no more effective. I know the blood of Jesus is still working. I know the blood of Jesus is still effective. I pull, I command the blood of Jesus upon that Goliath right now. Let that Goliath go back to hell right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will testify. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will testify. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will testify. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare from this very hour, from today, today, today marks the beginning of your bouncing back. You will bounce back in Jesus' name. Hear me well. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light for me. The Bible says, do not rejoice over me, my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise again. It doesn't matter if you're falling. Today, I want to tell you, as a servant of the living God, Today marks the beginning of your bouncing bar. Your spiritual life shall be restored. And, uh, and everything that is called lost glory shall be fully recovered back. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today marks the beginning of your bounce back. You, have, you will bounce back again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will shine again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your spiritual life shall be restored again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And your lost glory shall be fully received back. You will receive your lost glory back. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your lost glory receive it back. In the name of Jesus. For me Samuel. God bless you. It is well with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, evangelist, uh, evangelist, evangelist, I want to decree upon your life. Bridal journey, I want to decree upon your life. I decree and I declare. Today marks a new beginning of your bouncing back. You will bounce back. Ah, go and mark it down. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will bounce, bounce back into grace, into joy, into testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will bounce back. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your spiritual life shall be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus, everyone that is watching me, I want to decree upon your life. Today marks a new 
you begin in your life, you will bounce back. If you are down right now, I welcome the hand of the Lord to lift you up right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if you are down right now, I welcome the hand of the Lord to lift you up right now. If you are sick right now, I welcome the hand of the Lord to lift you up right now. If you are being discouraged right now, I welcome the hand of the Lord to lift you up right now. Today marks the beginning of your bounce back. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your spiritual life shall be restored. I command as the sound of the living God. If your spiritual life is dead right now, I welcome the power of the Holy Ghost right now to come upon your person right now. Let there be restoration right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, restoration, 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 restoration in your spiritual life. Restoration. If you have lost all today by the reason of anointing, I want to tell you, if you have lost all, is coming back right now. Your glory shall be restored. Ah, your glory shall be restored. The glory of Job was restored. Your glory shall be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your glory shall be restored. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, your glory shall be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your glory shall be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from today, I declare and I decree every department of your life that is under satanic disconnection. Hey, that Satan might have had you disconnected. Today, I command, let there be connection back in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There shall be connection. There shall be connection. From today, I decree and I declare every department of your life under the control of Satan. Hey, today, right now, I disconnect it right now from the hands of Satan. In the name of the Lord Jesus let Jehovah begin to fight for you. Ah, you will testify. Your testimony is coming into your house right now. Testimony will still, it will spot you out. Testimony. Ah, hey, hey Lord, don't believe me. Hear me well. If you know the story of jo David, if you know the story of David, you will know that testimony is upon your life right now. Testimony is written all over you. David was not in the house when Samuel came in. David was never in the house, but God told Samuel. He said, There is a servant of God, a servant of God, a king in that house. He was never in the house. He was never. He was in the, he was busy with the sheep and cattle and everything outside. But hear me well. The word did not come upon the brothers. The word came upon him. And the servant of God said, we will not sit until he comes. Hear me well. No one has the power to deny you of your right again in the name of Jesus. No one has got the power to deny you of your testimony again in the name of Jesus. Whoever will die, I command her to open up right now and swallow them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No one has the power to deny you of your testimony ever again. I am telling you as a servant of the living God, nobody has the right to deny you. From this very hour, whoever will think of it, whoever will desire it, whoever will now say, let me see if I can God will call them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The ground will open and swallow them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The ground will open and swallow them. Today I declare and I declare as a servant of the living God, God will raise men of influence in your favor. Men that will favor you. God will raise them in your favor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, men of influence. God will raise them in your favor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every area where money may, dis may disgrace you. He was rich and he became poor. Is there any way money wants to disgrace you right now? Malekaya. He was rich and he became poor. That through his poverty, that you and I might become rich. Is there any way right now that money wants to disgrace you? I welcome the totality of heaven. The power that resurrected Christ from the dead. Let it enter into your life right now. Let it enter into your situation right now. You will not beg in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy 28. Go and read it. The Bible says you will be on top only and not beneath. The Bible says you will learn to manage or you shall not borrow. I command and I decree and I declare. Is there any way money wants to disgrace you? I command and I declare help from above. Let it come upon your person right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the help from above. Let it come upon your person right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From today you will not suffer scarcity again in every areas of your life. There shall be no scarcity again in every areas of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From today, all your long forgotten rights will be given back to you right now. They will receive attention. Every long forgotten right, whether it's your document, if they are forgotten right now, they will receive the attention right now, a divine attention right now. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
a divine attention from a relevant authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what they for what 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 they have actually seized down from this very hour as I speak. Every of all your forgotten right will receive a divine attention and relief from the relevant authority right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A divine attention. I command it right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From today, go and mark it down or tomorrow. From today, you will not be a product that has lost its value in the market of life. A number of human beings have lost their market of value. Product that have lost their market of value in the race of life. From today, you will not be a product that has lost its value in the market of life. Because you carry the presence of Lord, let no one trouble you. Because God created you and I in his image, you will never be a product that have lost its value in the market of life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not lose your value in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to decree, I want to declare concerning your life. It is well with you. In everything you lay your hands upon, it is well with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, hear me well. Like I said earlier on, it doesn't matter where you're located. Testimony is coming to your house. Testimony is coming to your life. Testimony is coming to every situation. Testimony is coming upon everything that concerns you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not suffer lack again in life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. People will come to rejoice with you all the days of your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. People will come to rejoice with you. When they were building the temple of the Lord, they had to stop people from bringing things. They brought more than enough. I want to decree upon your life. Those who don't know you, those who don't even know your name, or probably whether think you are black or white, I summon the power of the Lord right now to locate them wherever they are right now. The Bible said he sent forth his word. I sent forth the word of the Lord right now into the heart of those you have never met with. Those you have never seen. I command them to be to, for them to begin to locate you right now to bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, concerning what is on ground. We ask for your mercy. Concerning what is on ground in the world right now, we ask for your mercy. It's only your mercy we need. Lord, have mercy on us. Have mercy on the wonderful and beautiful world that you have created. You are the only one that can put a stop to it. Because you are God. From the bottom of our heart, O oh Lord, Father Lord, we beg you, Lord. Have mercy, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, and have mercy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says there was no one to open the scroll in Revelation. But when he came with the blood, he opened the scroll. I welcome the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ down upon the heart right now. Let the healing power of the Lord come forth right now in the name of Jesus. And let the mercy of the Lord let it show forth. Those who are sick, by His stripes, they're healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Daddy. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is well within the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Positive joy, God bless you in Jesus' name. Favor Jonah, God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Love, Iberi, say God bless you in the name of Jesus. Nathaniel Bride, it is well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Babubemi, God bless you richly in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, Dickness, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Oh, Lucy Sam, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Uh, Don Effie, God bless you. Evans uh, Stanley, God bless you in the name of Jesus. It is well. Oh, Sam, God bless you. Thank you so very much for all that you've been doing. I uh, really appreciate you, and God appreciates you as well. Tessie Love, God bless you. I heard about your testimony, Tessie Love. It is well in the name of the Lord Jesus, God. You will share the testimony later on, but not online. People will hear later. Hallelujah. Lara La come, it is well. Kate Agawa, it is well within the name of Jesus. Evangelist Bride Ojele, it is well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Sister uh, Queen, it is well. Emuwe Bose, it is well in the name of Jesus. Uh, sorry, it is my daughter, it is well within the name of Jesus. Brother Totis, it is well in the name of Jesus. Uh, Dignes uh, Inka, it is well with you. Esther, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Evangelist, uh, uh, blessing, it is well in the name of Jesus. Esther Nome, as the family doing, it is well within the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is well with every single one of you. Go and be blessed in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Spirit. Evangelist Kingsley, God richly bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ibido Salu, it is well. Cynthia Kirumi, it is well with you. Evangelist Be uh, Becky, God bless you in the name of Jesus. It it is well. Uh, Brabu, we extend my regards to the entire family. It is well within the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I saw, I saw, <laughs> I saw your 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 uh, uh, miss uh, your voicemail. Hallelujah. On my landline, it's it's normally switched off. I saw your voicemail. I didn't know. I did not know you love me. Hallelujah, my big baby. But I love you. To God bless you. It is well in the name of Jesus. Uh, Dignes for way. It is well. As Pastor doing. It is well in the name of Jesus. Well with your household in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Edith Yamu. It is well. Uh, Tessie doing. It is well with you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sister Hope. It is well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. I know the joy of the Lord is your strength. Don't worry about what is going on what will be will be sister hope what god has actually said will come to pass will come to pass in your life in the name of jesus nobody can stop it i have the assurance backed by heaven concerning your life it is well in the name of the lord jesus christ lord lord gold that's my daughter god bless you lord lord gold hallelujah it is well with you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ god richly bless you brother jude it is well with you uh, over about a couple of weeks now i didn't even blame anyone I you know, Brad Jude, concerned the microphone and everything, you just be thanking God for what is going on right now. That this man is not blaming me. Hallelujah. Don't worry. I reserve every blame. I'm just packing, packaging it right now. I'm packing it together. Hallelujah. <laughs> it is well. God richly bless you. I love every single one of you. Don't worry. Like I said earlier on, the message of the Lord, the message of the cross will still come to your home direct. Hallelujah. Hallelujah from the throne of God. In the name of Jesus, Sister Stella, <laughs> it is well. Uh, okay, I miss you this time around. I, knew, I, I was told your, your children were laughing. Uh, Sister Stella, I miss you right now. It is well with you. I want to repeat again. <laughs> Is that Stella? I miss you right now. Sister Chile, I miss you. Extend my regards to your husband as well. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is that Gladys? How my daughter's doing? God richly bless you. Extend my regards. I miss every single one of you, honestly. Uh, and I, I am believing that this, this very lockdown, I, I know when as I see every single one of you, Sister Love it, God bless you. I know when, when I see every one of you later, God Almighty, I, 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 I believe I'm going to see everyone with, with increase in size. Because all this eat and sleep, eat and sleep, make sure you exercise. Hallelujah. Otherwise, your church clothes will not fit you again. <laughs> make sure you exercise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. It is well. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. The, the presence of the Lord is so unique. It's so wonderful. It's so glorious. Hallelujah. God bless you. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Evangelist Tessie, God bless you in the name of the Lord. You too, you did not miss me. It's only your husband that missed me. Evangelist Tessie, we thank God. Even the same evangelist, uh, uh, Elizabeth. Hallelujah. You have not even called me to say, Daddy, how are you? God will bless every one of you. You have not called. All my ministers, except for Pastor Wiley and the wife, the rest, uh, and, and Evangelist uh, Olu Inka and Becky, they've called me. But the rest, no, they just be online with me and say, Daddy, we love you. I can see that kind of a love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Brother Charles, I miss you. Only you and my children I miss, not your wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, good Lord, Lord, I miss you too. You have not called me to tell me that you miss me. Hallelujah. Brother Tunji Kumaya, I bless God for your life. It is well within the name of Jesus. Even Sister Joy, you do, but you have not called me to say you miss me. Is this love? Hallelujah. Is this love? 
Hallelujah. Uh, Sean's mom, the same thing. Sister Kate, ah, God will help us, all Almighty. So everyone, I'm all less displaying uh, a fake love now. You see now, if something don't happen, you will not know those who really love you. Uh, Sister Kate, you have not called me. Uh, Sean's mom has not called me. Uh, Edidi Yamu, you have not called me. Joyce Santos, you have not called me. Brad Jude, you have not called me. Sister Hope, you have not called me. Brad, Brad Joseph, Brad Joe called me. Evans Kingsley, you have not called me. God Almighty, is this law. Sister Kimomi, you have called me. Esther, you have not called me. You are saying we love you. You have never called me. Jenny Julia, you have never called me. Favor Blessing, you have not called me. Uh, Romeo Jennifer, you have not called me. God Almighty. Hmm. We thank God, though. But me, I love you with a genuine love. But it is well. The joy of the Lord is your strength, princess. Ade gold. Ade tumobi. God bless you. God will honor you. God will perfect all that concerns you. The praise of the Lord is upon your life. Go and mark it down. Every promise of God concerning your life shall surely come to pass in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see Sean's mom saying, Oluwani, Oluwani Femi, saying we love you. <laughs> all this kind of love. Patience, Adams, you and your husband, you have not called me. Hmm. Favor, Jonah, you have not called me. God Almighty, I can see the kind of love. <laughs> you miss mommy, I cannot miss you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It is well, oh, sister, success from Germany. Daddy, I called you. Yeah, yeah, you called me. You see, right from Germany, those who are even in France with me, don't, don't call me. Brother Zai, God bless you. You have not called me, even you and your wife. Honestly, honestly, it's like, it's like, it's like my children are the one I love now, oh. But all is well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, Brother Chris, I am from Nigeria. God bless you richly. In that You call me every single time. That's my friend in Africa and Nigeria. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everybody can write. We love you, sir. Mm. It is well, sir. But we bless the Lord. It is well. Don't let distance be a barrier. Hallelujah. God richly bless you. I love you and it shall be well with you all the days of your life. Go and enjoy your testimony that is knocking on your door right now. The testimony is knocking on your door right now and receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Deadly disease will not come upon your person in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You and your household are secured in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You and your household, you are secured in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You and your household are secured in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell a brother that is sick right now, by his stripes you are healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've gone to the hospital, they said there is nothing, they cannot see anything but whatsoever is in your person right now i command and i decree and i declare as a servant of the living god i usher in the totality of heaven the power that resurrected christ from the dead to enter into your body right now and flush that sickness out right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the death of the enemy will not keep will not hold and hold you down in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i decree healing upon your person right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the bible says every tree that god has not planted shall be uprooted i command and i decree and I declare that seed that is inside of you that is of sickness I uproot it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and so shall it be in Jesus mighty name amen look at Brad you Brad you said we love you who are the we you are I hallelujah this guy these are the kind of people that don't love me they say we love you and he lives alone oh. I don't know who are the we amongst you now that are surrounding your house but we thank God for your life it is well Hallelujah. God richly bless you. Try as much as possible. Let us share this wonderful, very video uh, uh, administration and let others benefit from it as well. And I know in as much as you're sharing it, God will strengthen you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go Julius Robert, God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Try as much as possible. Let us share it and let us see the glory and the grace of God upon our person in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so very much. I am a Christian. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't worry. Like I said earlier on, on Friday, there's going to be a night video it's going to be a two hour prayer two hours we're going to we're going to pray and it's going to start from 12 middle of the night those who are in france it's going to start from your zero 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 middle of the night from 12 and those who are in england it's going to start as early as 11 11 p.m in england and from 12 midnight in france and those in nigeria as well if god if if, if you have the grace to be to be online at very, that very hour god will strengthen you in the name of jesus and i know for sure that as many 
guys are watching right now you will be online as well as we as we challenge the, the, the authorities or in the, in the heavenly places to let us go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I know go and mark it down it is your time to testify in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ yes brother De Boali from Spain God bless you Spain Barcelona God bless you you just ran away from France hallelujah I still know you very well and you still call me you still text me I appreciate you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Preventure, you have another servant of God there. I am still your servant of God. Hallelujah. I'm still your father in the Lord. That one is the second one. Hallelujah. But it is well within the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So meet me uh, tomorrow. There's still going to be a ministration here tomorrow. The same time, 9 till 9.30. But I entered into 10 now. But we thank the Lord. In as much we are sitting in the house right now. Hallelujah. Instead of you to be, to be actually working on your phone right now, thank God for hearing me out. Tomorrow the same time, but on Friday, it's going to be 12 a.m. your time, middle of the night. It's going to be 12 a.m. your time on, on, on Friday. It's going to be a night video, but tomorrow the same time by 9 your time tomorrow. And it is well within the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Enjoy the grace of the Lord and you are blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed among others, blessed among your siblings. You are lifted up in every area of your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The glory and the power of the Lord is upon your life forevermore in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare, hear me well, this is what I hear right now in the realm of the spirit. Death will not locate you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If death are killing you in your, your right or your left hand side, in front of you or behind you, death will not spot you out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not weep in your household. Your family will not weep over your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not weep concerning anyone in your family in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace is upon your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Shekinah glory of God is upon your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ and finally please 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 let us know for sure that we need to secure ourselves let us know for sure that we need to secure ourselves the disease that is outside right now is not the one that has come to play and know for sure is not the one that has come to play but let us try uh, and as much as possible to honor the law of the land. The Bible said in Romans, they didn't say, honor the law of the land. God said he, he has given the, uh, the governing authority the right to do it. Honor, if, if you have been told to stay in the house, stay in the house. Hallelujah. We are giving certain time to exercise ourselves. I went out with my wife today. Hallelujah. So, but please try as much as possible to protect yourself. This particular disease is not here to, to smile. Hallelujah. But I know God is in control because mercy is on ground. This very hour, and God will have mercy on us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is upon every single one of us. We are actually immense and soaked in the pool of the blood of Jesus. And the Bible says, let no one trouble us. More or less, let no disease, let no sickness trouble us because we bear the mark of Christ. Because the mark of Christ is upon your person, I decree, let no disease trouble you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate that. Let no disease trouble you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is well with you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God richly bless you, every single one of you. I really miss your faces. Hallelujah. But we will see in good health, in perfect health, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No one will die. No one will be buried in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Stay well and stay safe in the name of the lord jesus christ and if you're still sitting at home probably you stop going to work try as much as well just to get your bible around and you know just just read the word of god every night here myself and my wife will study the word of god hallelujah we study the word of god we we actually digest dissect and the word we study the word of god we want to know more about god we want to continue loving the lord all the days of our life so if you're privileged that you're not working right now try as much as possible just get your bible with you study the word of god and as you're studying the holy spirit will, will give you the interpretation into that of his word in the mighty name of the lord jesus. you will have a divine understanding and the perfect of that word in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ sister ellen how is your family doing uh, that's that's one time my member you are still my member don't run away hallelujah god richly bless you so study the word of god if you're prepared to be in the house hallelujah with the little time you you are with your family you can as well call your children around and study the word of god 
pray together. This this very this, I believe it's an opportunity and a privilege for us now to gather as a family in our house and to pray together. Hallelujah. Let us introduce us as children to pray as well. Hallelujah. Let's just yeah, I will stay safe. Hallelujah. I will stay safe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, hallelujah. Let us try as much as possible to introduce our children into into this very very thing uh, uh, that we do in the house now. Call all our children, our, our, the wife, husband. Let's stay together. Let us pray together. It will help us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It will help us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even even me, anytime I go out, we, we came in not about couple about two three hours ago. Well, the moment we entered, I just washed my hand, entered the bathroom. You know, I need to. We need to 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 play safe here. Hallelujah. Like I said, the disease is not playing. Hallelujah. So we need to take very good precaution and pre and, and to preserve ourselves as well. And I said, nobody's going to die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All over the world, no ministry will, will, will lose their, their member in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Rose, uh, Rose, Bede, Elida, God bless you in the name of Jesus. How, how are you doing? All is well. I miss your feet too. Eh? It's the Rose, by Michael's wife. I miss your feet too, but I didn't miss the face of your husband. Hallelujah. It is well with every single one of you. All my children doing as well. God bless you. Stay safe and it shall be well with you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you and I miss you all. God says mad and I love you. God says mad. God bless you. Have a blessed day. I will see you tomorrow by his grace. God bless you. Amen.